The season finale of NBC's The Voice wraps up tonight. And to celebrate this epic event, Kara sat down with the iconic Chance the Rapper. Take a look. Chance the Rapper, I have to tell you, I've been following your genius for quite some time. It's such a privilege to talk to you. Let's get into it about The Voice, Aww. okay? Um, how Thank has you. this yeah. experience been for you? It's been awesome. Thanks for asking. It's been super cool. It was something I didn't uh, foresee uh, and was kind of nervous about going into because I don't consider myself a, a vocalist. But... Uh, I do consider myself a producer, and I got a lot of fun production work going on there. Like, I've gotten a, a chance to really work with some really top-tier vocalists, make some really what I perceive to be top-tier arrangements and reimaginings of some songs with them. And, uh, and I've gotten to make some cool friends and, and my co-coaches. So it's been, it's been cool. I, okay, I'm a little shook that you don't consider yourself a vocalist. You're such a lyricist, and you, your voice is like smooth butter, if I do say so myself. So why, why do you say you're oh, not a vocalist? <laughs> uh, I'm, I think, like, I, I do like to sing a lot, and I do like to write uh, songs, but I, I think that there's, like, a, a specific uh, talent and being a vocalist that has a lot to do with, uh, you know, training and, and, and learning music theory and, and learning uh, new tones and ways to open up your voice that I just haven't taken the time to do. But I respect it a lot. And yeah. I think uh, everybody on my team uh, from day one could be considered a top tier vocalist. and. Uh, and over time, of, of, of being on the show, even I've seen uh, grow. And so, uh, I'm not a vocalist again, but I do uh, I do love working with vocalists and and creating something new. All right, Chance, we love a humble king here in Atlanta. Um, all right, let's talk about what were some of your favorite <laughs> uh, performances on The Voice this year, and then let's talk about those sisters from Ohio. They got you in the finale. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, shout out to, to Sorella. That's my, uh, my, my, my trio of vocalists, the young vocalists on the show that um, come in and go crazy every week. Some of my favorite performances were theirs, actually. I, I, to this day, my, my favorite uh, of the battles was uh, Manessa Simone and Sorella coming together for the, the collaboration on Someone Like You by Adele. Um, that was something crazy and, and very fun, just like matching up their tones and, and creating new harmonies. Uh, and then also uh, from my team, uh, Ray Urell from Gary, Indiana. Uh, he just left the show, but he had an amazing performance of, uh, of Tim's Essence, uh, Tim's and WizKid Essence. But uh, yeah, I've, I've had a lot of favorite performances on the show. I, actually, my favorite is when I got to perform on my team the other night. We did. Uh, we did same drugs for my coach performance. I brought back some people from from uh, from earlier on the show that were on my team. It's just a good show musically. Yeah. Like you get to have a lot of fun. You get to just do what you want. Yeah, same drugs. That was so good. Shout out to Gary, Indiana, home of Michael Jackson. And I know you're from Chicago. I'm from Indiana. Yeah. Um, lots yeah. of connection there. Uh, let's talk about too quickly, Sorella. Okay. Um, I just I love watching them, and you can't help but get up and dance and smile and talk a little bit about um, what it's been like, kind of watching them progress throughout the competition. It's been really cool. Sorella is really young. Like I think the oldest. Uh, Maddie, I think, is like 21 or 22, and they and the youngest is 15. So they're like, you know, they're growing up in this industry, and now they're in the spotlight. They're going to the finale on a show that's watched by 10 million plus people just in this country, uh, and they've handled it all very well. I see that they like, you know, they really love music. They really love their craft. They spend all day training and going over vocal warm-ups or actually rehearsing the songs like weeks out from when they have to perform. And I could just admire that, and I relate to it. When I was young, when I was like 19, 18, and I just started going on tour and stuff, I was very much so uh, perfectionist and, and consistently stressing, uh, rehearsing, and and, uh, and and trying to get better with my craft. And when when you're like that and dogmatic about you know 
working on, on your stuff. Like, you always have great success. So it's been cool watching them just lock in and and stay focused the entire competition. And it's paid off to end the finale. Yeah. So shout out to Sorella, Sorella. especially if y'all watching. Yeah, we love to see it. Speaking of being a perfectionist, let's talk quickly about 10 year anniversary of your acid rap, the album. Talk about that. Yeah, yeah, no, super cool. Uh, uh, Acid Rap changed my life. Uh, it is crazy that it's been 10 years since uh, the project that I guess in a lot of ways put me on the map. Uh, and I think, uh, yeah, I'm just blessed. I'm blessed that it still resonates with people all these years later, and I'm excited for uh, for the few shows that we put together. We put together some anniversary shows where I'm going to play the project front to back, uh, once in Chicago, once in New York, and once in Los Angeles. So I'm really, really happy about that. And yeah, happy birthday, Ask Rap, you 10 years old. All right, Chance, thank you so much. I can't wait to see what you do next, and I'll be following you. And come see us in Atlanta, and good luck tonight in the finale.